let's talk about gender reveal parties. The first time I ever heard about the concept of gender reveal parties, my former boss was telling me about how him and his wife had family over to reveal the gender of their child by cutting into a cake. And I remember thinking, oh wow, that's uh, almost fun, maybe? See, I'm a big fan of mystery, so anything you can do to add a little bit of mystery into your life is cool with me. However, the next time I heard about gender reveal parties, it was because one burned down 45,000 acres in Arizona. So it became clear to me that there was an arms race that I had been blissfully unaware of. Let's be honest, with the rise of social media and social media influencers, we've all become sluts for attention. So it's not really a surprise that every moment of our lives have been repackaged as shareable content, putting aside the inherent issues with how gender is handled in society and the more recent movement to free ourselves from such rigid guidelines that define gender, a gender reveal party obviously isn't about the child. It's about how many likes the event itself can bring their parents. And this need for social media engagement isn't necessarily an indictment on the characters of the parents. Hell, I've made like 200 YouTube videos in the past year and I have a specific Instagram just for comedy. Uh, Super Marlboro, follow it on Instagram, just say. If those parents are attention whores, then I'm an attention addict. Just trying to feel something again. Some blame, sorry, some credit blogger, Jenna Corvoditis, I pronounced that incorrectly, I'm sorry, with helping popularize the trend in her blog, High Gloss and Sauce in 2008, when she threw a party and revealed the gender by, again, cutting a cake. Very harmless. She blogged about it and that post went viral. Like I said, cutting the cake, all things considered, is a pretty chill idea. But what she didn't know was that she was about to start a craze. Once wannabe influencers saw the numbers she brought in on her blog, well, it was pretty much akin to blood in the water. Soon, YouTube was filled with videos of couples sharing the gender of their child through audacious and just strange ways. And the thing was, they weren't just sharing it with their friends and family, they were sharing this with the world. And that really became the focus. From boxes filled with balloons, to baseballs filled with powder, to eventually explosives. Each video forced the couples to up the ante or risk being buried by the YouTube algorithm and forgotten about. Wow. Being buried by the YouTube algorithm and forgotten about. That would, that would suck. That would suck. Anyways, to this point, the greatest danger surrounding these parties was being invited to one by a couple who, like, you're, like, kind of friendly with, but you're definitely not close. Um, although, maybe they think you are close because they're inviting you to their gender reveal party. It's just an awkward situation. Anyways, just gotta tell them you have a thing that day and you can't get out of it, but you, t you totally wish you could be there. In 2017, things would go from socially disastrous to just straight up disastrous. When a border patrol agent shot an explosive device, igniting it and causing a wildfire that cost him $8 million in restitution and burned 47,000 acres of land. God, kids, kids could just be really expensive, especially when their parents are so dumb. So surely that would have been it. We've reached critical mass when it comes to stupidity, right? Of course not. Instead of using that as a cautionary tale, another couple decided 2020 wasn't quite hell on earth enough and ignited another fire with their very own explosive device. 
At the time of writing, it burned over 20,000 acres and took the life of a firefighter who was trying to put out this mess. That's horrible and senseless. That guy was a hero and he died because in a year when everything is overwhelmingly terrible, a couple asked the question, how can we make all of this about us? And apparently a monkey paw curled because we'll never forget about them. It's gotten so bad that the blogger, Jenna, I cannot pronounce your last name, I'm very sorry, I know how it feels, has even been doing a media tour to distance herself from the trend. So what do we do about this? Is this a unique issue or just an extension of influencer culture driving people to do dangerous and stupid things? Will they go out of style like other cultural fads and challenges? Or are they here to say? What's next? Will someone develop a gender reveal nuke? I mean, honestly, with the year we're having and after watching that debate, just put us out of our misery. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.